Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of A Lawyer Plays. Dreamfall The Longest Journey with me, Ryan, the gaming lawyer. Well, if you recall last episode, we continued in Stark. It's be it's becoming very gamey. I think uh, I think Zoe is beginning to become aware that this <laughs> she's subject to video game mechanics because she's already complained that she's had to run around a lot. Although she doesn't know it's a video game. I don't think it's that meta. But, um... Yeah, she, all, the, all that she needs to do is find this minstrel lady. But it's like, first, oh, the beggar. You tell the beggar. Oh, beggar wants spiced wine. Oh, you have to get the spices. You go to the spice merchant. Oh, but the, the delivery was broken down. So you got to go to the guy at the traffic jam. And he's like, oh, you got to bring it back to the spice merchant. You bring, and you go back to the inn. And you get cooked the... You cook the, uh, the, the mold spiced wine, and you bring it to the guy, the homeless guy, and he's like, oh, I don't know where she is. Go ask this other person. So, now we're, uh, now we're looking down this deserted alley. Oh, disclaimer, bird's awake. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I know it's very exciting. It's very exciting being awake, isn't it? Let me see. Was there... <clears throat> Excuse me. Crab Bend is where Crazy Clara is. I know. Oh, yeah. Yep. It is so exciting being awake. It doesn't look like anyone lives here anymore. He just had a little fly about. I theorize that when they fly, because he gets really noisy when he flies and he makes these screeches, that he's just so. He's so it impressed look like with himself. Lives here anymore. That he can fly. That he's like bragging. He's telling everybody, "Hey, look at me! I'm flying! I'm flying! Look, I flew!" And then he gets down. He still doesn't sometimes look like anyone lives here anymore. She looks crazy, doesn't she? That must be Clara. She certainly looks the part. Yeah, you can tell. I don't know. Does she look crazy? Hi there. Are you crazy? Um, <laughs> Clara. Are you Clara by any chance? You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to what? be punished. My baby, my baby. Gone, gone, gone. Um. Now, there are crazy people around that are like that, that I've met. Sometimes you just gotta talk to them like normal. I'm looking for Minstrom Magda. The Minstrom are evil, Clara. Oh, Lord. They cloud your mind with their spiritual claptrap. Okay. My baby is gone. Am I going to have to ask her about her baby? Uh, um, you wouldn't happen to know where Magda is, would you? All gone. All gone. Uh, right. There's no chance you'll turn uncrazy for a moment and answer my question, is there? Gone. Gone. At least she's not screaming it at the top of her lungs. I didn't think so. No. There's a lot of people so in my neighborhood you lost like something. to do. Or someone? My baby. Yes, that part I got. Your baby. Is it a child? A pet? Westerlings caught him in a net, just like a butterfly. That's illegal, that is. Can't have that now, can we? Wait a minute. Boxed him right up. We'll take care of him, put him to sleep for you. Pretty thing. Poor thing. Is that the thing, thing in that alley where that guard kept so stopping me? So it is me? your pet. A dog? Cat? Doubt there's dogs I'm or cats I'm guessing there are the stranger world. pets in this world. Yeah. No stranger. It's gonna be Pikachu. Best friend. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. Oh, Lord. No, please, no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? The ghetto's close. Stand back. What's that you've got there, eh? Give us that thing right now. The soldiers took him. What did they do with him? We'll take care of him, we will. Gone, but close, so close. I still hear him, my right. baby. I still hear him crying. Do you want me to help you find your baby? Find baby? Yes, if I can. I'll try. Do you know where he is? Caged up like the twinkles in a diamond. He was coming home to mommy. Home, never again. Never, never. Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? Okay. Let's see. Found Crazy Claire, but she's not being very communicative. 
She misses her baby, a pet of some kind, which as far as I can tell, was taken by the soldiers and put in a cage. If I help Claire get Clara's baby back, maybe she'll go uncrazy and tell me to tell me where to find Minstra Magda. Alright, well, I'm gonna go the rest of the way up this hill, but I, I'm 99% sure that her baby was that thing we noticed in the cage near in the uh, shopping district. Oh, what's this? Can I use my... I don't have any of my uh, phone or my hacking tools. What is this place? But yeah, down there was that guard that wouldn't let us in the alley, and I saw. I'm 99% sure I saw a little creature in a cage. That down there. tower looks like bad news. I'm not going in there. All right. Well, at least we know that's where this road ends now. Even if we're not going in there. I kind of wish I could run a little faster. But I guess that's what we're doing. Funny thing is, in real life, like, if I tried jogging like this everywhere, especially up a hill like this, like, oh, that is just how I travel around. It'd probably be better for me, but I couldn't do it right now. I don't jog. I walk. I'm a walker. <laughs> okay. Alright. So now the question is, wait, is this, is the alley unblocked? Okay, we're gonna... Oh, did I slip by? That must be Crazy Clara's pet. There it is. It's really cute. It's crazy. I'm gonna stick in my pocket. Run! What? Run, run! <laughs> it, I think it knows how to get home, so I'm gonna... Where did everyone go? I'm gonna run after it. And it's, hopefully it shook the guard and got back to Crazy Clara. But we'll find out soon enough. Because uh, I know I don't want any more combat if I can avoid it. <laughs> Here! Aww. That. What a little cutie pie. Are you going to be normal for a little bit now? That's really sweet. I feel all warm and tingly inside. I feel a little warm and tingly, I will admit it. But I'm not, like, choked up or anything. Not that much. I see you got your baby back. Safe now. We are happy. So, so happy. I'm glad. Look, I'm trying to find Minstrel Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Oh, please, no. could you try and focus for a second? Uncrazy for a second, I really please. need to find Minstrel Magda. Found your baby. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh, yes, please. Right you are, then. I thought the soup lady was going to play soup into this. Soup, our favorite. What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Warm and thick with peas and carrots in it. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps too. It'd be potatoes. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? I go down there every morning to have my soup. I do. She's nice, she is. The soup lady. You ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a cup too. Down where? The market? I know where she is. We're I've talked to her twice already. We're just down the street, already. Clara, at the Southgate Market from sunrise till midday every day. You come by any time, you hear? That's right. The soup kitchen. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, okay? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. Bye-bye, crazy lady and your adorable, weird pet. I miss her manager. She's a soup lady. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Nothing... Nothing more to be said about that. That soup sounded good, though. Now I feel like having soup. 
I think after this episode, I'm gonna have some lunch. <laughs> hey! Hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Would you like a cup of soup? Uh, no. I'm afraid I'm gonna give up her. If I, if I just say no, I feel like she's in incognito. No, thank you. Very well, dear. Okay, I'm gonna have to just go out and say, yeah. Hello again, dear. Minstrom. Did you I'm gonna shout mind? it real loud. Minstrom. Like a cup of soup. Min no, thank you. Are you Minstrom Magda? Shh, not so loud. There are ears everywhere. Hmm. Who are you? What do you want? I I'm just looking for Minstrom Magda. Shh. I don't know any Minstrom Magda. There are no Minstrom in this city. Not anymore. But I was told that you... That Minstrom... Like I said, there are none left. I didn't know that. I don't know anything. Get a clue, Zoe. I was Zoe. just told that... That Magda That's could her. help me. And who, pray tell, told you that? Uh, the innkeeper. The innkeeper at the journeyman. Oh? And who would that be? Uh, Ben... It was Salmon. I remember Salmon. Her name is Ben Rime Salmon. I see. So Ben Rime sent you to find Magda. Now why would she do a thing like that? Because she's nice. Because I'm... I'm, um... Not from around here. That much is quite obvious. Very well, dear. I do believe that you're as lost as you seem to be. I'm Magda. Just Magda, mind, and you would do well to address me as such. Either that or ma'am. No titles, no honorifics. Ben Rime ought to have made that clear to you. I will try and assist you with any questions that you may have, and maybe even point you in the right direction. But be discreet. Like I said, there are ears everywhere. Yeah, like the one that kid in the inn. A Minstrom? I'm just gonna go... <laughs> Min Why can't I call you by your full name? I want to know some deep lore, though. Minstrom is not a though. name. It's a title I carried before the Azadi banned the Sentinel from the city. And it's a position I no longer hold. It belongs to the past. Yeah. And I don't wish to speak of it here where the walls have ears. Azadi. Who are the Azadi? They are our protectors and our guests. They helped liberate Mercuria from the Tyrant oh. armies ten years ago. And then they decided to stay. So the city's under occupation? Not at all. And you would do well not to speak ill of the Azadi, lest you fancy seeing the inside of Friar's Keep. They are here to unify and convert the Northlands in the name of their goddess. And they are very particular about their faith. It leaves precious little room for other ideas. Okay. But that's all I will tell you. I would leave the topic be if I were you. So I'm trying to piece together what's happened. And the Azadi liberated the city from... What was the other one? I want to say that the other ones she mentioned were the ones that were attacking. So maybe these are different enemies? That that the vanguard people attacked and then these guys liberate ah, okay i'm totally confused we're gonna have to i'm thinking i'm remembering stuff wrong now we'll see we'll just go for the help why did the innkeeper tell me to see you most likely because i have assisted travelers like you before but the times have changed mercuria has become a very dangerous place for people like yourself for me too but i belong here you do not you think I just want to go home. And so you should, with haste. There's no adventure to be had here. Not anymore. Oh. So there's nothing you can do for me. Like I said, I will assist you with any questions you may have, and I will point you in the right direction. I'd but say I'm having an adventure do. right now. April. Do you know anyone by the name of April Ryan? April? I may have heard that name before. What would you with her? I'm supposed well, to find I her and know. save her. I need to find her. We have something in common, and I think... I think she's in trouble. And do you intend to save her? How do you propose to do that? I don't know that either. I just need to find her. Hmm. Well, I apologize, but I cannot help you there. Can't or won't? 
I don't know. Can you help me get back to my world? No, I cannot. It's too dangerous. But I can point you in the direction of someone who might be able to help you. You will need to enter Old Town. They call it the Magic Ghetto these days, after our protectors rebuilt the wall. The entrance to the ghetto is across the square. The gate is usually open, but right now the soldiers are conducting a raid. You will have to wait until they open the gates again. Where do I go once I'm on the inside? Seek out an artisan of the magic craft. Their skills have been mostly outlawed by the Azadi, except inside the ghetto. A practitioner of the craft might be able to help you draw on your latent talents to open a gateway. Okay. But be careful. If the Azadi were to learn of your origins and powers, they would show no mercy. You would be sent away to stand trial. They fear magic, these foreigners. They are doing their best to control it and everyone who uses it. And I fear they may be succeeding in their endeavors. Like I said, you would stand a better chance of getting home if you visited Old Town. Uh, who about this ghetto? What's the magic ghetto? How do we get it there? It used to be called Old Town, the oldest neighborhood in Marcuria. Now it's a prison in disguise. All magical peoples in Marcuria have been forced behind those walls to protect mm. them from the oh, humans. That's nice. At night, the gates are closed. And there are often raids. Homes are turned upside down. Good, honest people are arrested and... And what? They are taken away, never to be seen again. The Azadi call them terrorists. But they are shopkeepers and tailors and poets. Why are they the doing that? The only terrorists here are... But no. We do not speak ill of the Azadi. Oh, the Azadi are they the terrorists. They have done so much for us. Yeah. So great. So wait, is there more to say? So in order to get home, oh. I need to go to the magic ghetto. Into Old Town, yes. But you will need to wait until the raid is over. Thank you. You watch yourself out there. Don't get in the way of the Azadi soldiers. If they knew whence you came. I'll be careful. I'll stay out of the way. Psst. Hey. Hey. Who's that? He's eavesdropping. I ain't been dropping no eaves. What do you want? I hear you're looking for a way into the ghetto. Who told you... Oh, wait. Weren't you at the inn this morning? Not here. There are soldiers around. Follow me. I'm not following you anywhere. But I can show you a way into the ghetto. Or maybe he's Just part of the resistance. Minute. Who are you? My name is... It's Worm. Worm? Worm. That doesn't exactly inspire trust. What are you talking about? How do I know I can trust you? Back at the inn, I heard you say the name. April Ryan. You know her. I may know how to get in touch with her. You do? How? Well, you'll just have to trust me. If you overheard me talking to the innkeeper, you know I'm not from, from around here. I can't just follow any stranger I meet on the street. I mean... How do I know you won't lead me into a dark alley, knock me out, tie me up, and drag me into a basement somewhere? I promise I won't drag you into a basement. Besides, what <laughs> choice do you have? You're stuck here, aren't you? I'm the only one who can take you to Ri to April. What's Ru? She's the one you're looking for, right? Wait. A minute. Okay, fine. What's Ru? So I don't have much of a choice. But if you're lying to me, I'll scream. I can scream pretty loud. I'm sure you can. I promise, no basements. Come on. He just happens to not have basement Hold plans for us. We don't want to stay close. This is it. We're almost there. We it's just around it. the corner. Are we going to go into the salty semen? Now he's gonna knock me out, drag me into a ba into an attic. He's like, I said no basements. Now, Lord. <laughs> oh no! Careful, Swan. She's a screamer. Raven will be pleased that we bagged us a spy. What? I'm asking about you. 
There's no question about it. Oh. She's a spy. Asking about She does not look Azadi. Like that matters. You can't tell and you can't trust anyone. Let's get rid of her. Bryn? All I'm saying is let's not take any chances. She might have a tracking spell on her for all we know. I would have detected it. There's something peculiar about her, but no magic. It's not April. Peculiar? What did I tell you? She's a spy, all right? Come on, let's get rid of her. Quiet. I'll speak with her. Ooh, it's April. What? Why? Bryn, don't make me lose my patience with you. You need to trust me. But uh, it's April. Bryn, come. It's April. Now. Fine. Fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. So, why are you asking questions about me? Where am I? Who are you? I'm asking the questions here. Wait, you're April, aren't you? I recognize you from the picture. What? What picture? A picture of you and your friends. Charlie and Emma. I was in your old room at the Victor... In the border house in Newport. Charlie told me about you. That you disappeared and that... Whoa, slow down, slow down. <laughs> you know Charlie and Emma? How's that even... How are they doing? I only just met them. At the Fringe. Back in... Uh, back in my world. Stark. I'm guessing you're not a spy. I don't even know how I got here. Last thing I remember, I was at the Fringe. I was going upstairs to make a call, and then... Black. When I woke up, I was in this strange place. A subterranean city. And there were these... Uh, these creatures. I had to fight them. And all the time I was saying to myself, It's just a dream, Zoe. Just a dream. Nope. Except... Except it's no dream. I know the feeling. When I first came here, I refused to believe what my eyes and ears were telling me. But you learn to accept the truth. You have to. You're a shifter. You've traveled through the divide between worlds. You're in Arcadia. A shifter? That's what Ben Rime and Minstrom Magda told me. What's a shifter? It'll take too long to explain. You're special. How's that? You can travel between worlds. Travel? So how do I get back to our world? Your world, not mine. You just... do it. Once you've learned how, it's like blinking. With your mind. But I can't even remember how I got here in the first place. Why hasn't she been first back? First couple of times, it's hard. It's easier when you're asleep. I wasn't sleeping. At least... I don't think I was. It's... fuzzy. I'm sure you'll figure it out. What's your name? Zoe. Look, Zoe, I let you go, but I don't want you walking around out there asking questions, drawing attention to yourself. We'll have to put you somewhere... safe. Until you can find your way back to Stark. No. No, I'm here now, and I need your help. What? Wait, Why? tell her about you need to save Something's her. Something's happening back in the real world. <clears throat> in my world. And I think you're connected to it somehow. I've been... receiving this strange message... Like a... I don't know. A vision broadcast through the wire. I keep seeing a snowy landscape with a scary black house that looks like a doll's house. And a little girl. Find April Ryan, she says. Save her. Over and over again. Receiving? How? Through dreams? No. No, on screens. It's like... Like some kind of static interference. What does it mean? Don't ask me. I don't need saving. You've got the wrong woman. I don't think so. This girl. She led me to your room where I found the picture. It can't be a coincidence. It can't? You're sure about that? Look, Stark's not my world anymore. You've got problems, you figure them out. That's what I had to do. I'm done wow. with the saving of the world. Ask someone else. But I'll help you get back. It's either that, or we lock you up somewhere until you figure out how to use your powers. And what do I tell your friends? Tell them whatever you want. The April Ryan they knew is dead. I'm not part of their world anymore. So you're not going to help me? 
You're not curious to find out why I keep getting these messages about you? What if something big is going down and... Like I said, not my problem. I've played my part. Just leave me alone. Now, do you want to go back or not? I do. Of course I do. Good. Like I said, if this doesn't work, we'll have to make other arrangements. We're going to put you under hypnosis and unlock the part of your subconscious that controls your shifting powers. Lie oh, down convenient. on that bed, and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, April, I thought she was in doing what some sort of resistance. There's a part of you that knows how to travel. I will help you remember what you have not yet learned. And I'll end up back in Newport. Can't guarantee you that. You might end up somewhere else. Just try and focus on a familiar place. A safe place. So you're not going to help me? You don't need my help. Lie still. What's she talking about? Something's going on back in our world. A good friend of mine's disappeared and... And you need to not talk. Or would you rather have me lock you up? And I think okay. April can help me find out what's happened to him and why. So why won't you? Because I have enough trouble in my life already. Because I'm fighting a war and because I'm done with your world. Now this is your final chance. Close your eyes. Breathe slowly. Don't speak. Listen to Naane's voice. Naan. Amam. Ayan an. Listen to my no. voice. Let it carry you into yourself. Into hey. the secret places no. in your mind. Ane an. Ayan an. I don't feel a thing. What's this supposed to... What just happened? Whoa! I do not know, April Ann. She did not open a shift. And her clothes... They're still here. Where did she go? I do not know. Where did the clothes come from in the first place? Like it. it is almost as though she was no. smoke blown away by a wind. Is she dead? I cannot say. I do not feel her here, in this world, but I will say this, I do not think this girl is a shifter. Then what is she? And where did she go? Wow, okay, where did we? What is this? God forgive me, I had to mute my mic. My bird's going absolutely nuts right now. But I don't want to walk away from this to, to calm him down. What's, go What's going on now? Am I gonna... Oh, no. Am I gonna have to fight? Am I playing this guy now? through it. Please, that's it, right? What are, what are we in? Some kind of arena? How many of these? Are... This is not. It's not the way to earn, earn my. Uh... I'm not. I'm not entering this area. Going. Wow. This. This is awesome. This is awesome. Well, but you 
you can Another one? How the hell many times am I going to have to fight? Oh. Are we done? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Alright, we're at about 30 minutes. I, I think we're at about 30 minutes. If we're not quite there yet, um, this does seem to be the logical place to stop the episode. Because we just jumped into who the hell knows what's going on. I'm playing a different brand new person. Uh, next episode we're going to find out. Apparently we're a great warrior. But we're going to find out who this guy is. Hopefully. And, uh, and why we're being him. Instead of uh, instead of Zoe. But uh, So that's it for now guys. Thanks for joining me again. Another episode of A Lawyer Plays Dreamfall. The Longest Journey. And until next time. I hope everyone is doing well and take care. Bye-bye.